And they asked me, because he, they asked me to walk in the footsteps of the Apostle Thomas, because the, the believers of India traced their, their faith to the Apostle Thomas, who by tr church tradition went eastward, and by their tradition went to India, so they're all called the Thomas Christians. I mean, most of the uh, Christians in, in India are called the, the Toma Christians, because they trace themselves to Thomas. So they asked me to come and walk in the footsteps of Thomas. And so they're walking, I'm walking, I mean, it's kind of, it was crazy. I mean, they're walking, and people are welcoming us. It's Beth Israel's, we're, we're there, welcoming us like we are Thomas. It was crazy. And the thing is, but Thomas got killed by Hindu radicals. And when we went over there, a Hindu radical government had taken over, and Christians were being killed. And they asked me to come to be like the center thing here and be, be this focal point, and it was the most dangerous thing I ever did in my life. And wherever we went, we were being pursued by many people, many men. They were always trying to get to me, and they followed us over a thousand miles, no matter where we went. And then at the end of it, at the end of it, they, they invite me to go. They, the plan is I'm going to go up Mount St. Thomas in the city of Madras, India, go up Mount St. Thomas, preach, you know, get there, there's a, there's a, do something on top of there, and it's the same mountain where, by their tradition, it's called Mount St. Thomas because Thomas was killed on the mountain. And we're being pursued all the time. And, and I go up there, and they planned it out that I'm speaking, and after I speak, I'm supposed to walk through the crowd. And, they, and, and where the gate is where I'm supposed to walk out are all these very, I don't explain it, very not happy men who are staring at me, have all gathered, and we've seen their faces throughout the journey because they had followed us. And they're all waiting for me to come out. They're at the gate where I'm supposed to come out. They're all waiting. And I'm thinking, okay. You know, they say preach, always preach like it's your last sermon. <laughs> well, I did. I did. And that's exactly what I'm thinking. So like, that's it. This is it. So I'm and so in the last moment, the guy who invited me says, you know what, let's change the, change the plan. I said, change the plan. What is it? He said, I'll go out and said, I said, okay, you know, because they weren't after him. He went out, and he went out to the, to the monument, I mean, to where they have to Thomas or kind of church thing. When I, and in that place was a flame called the flame of, it's a flame of Thomas. And what they did, he, he took, went in there, got the flame and a torch, came back and handed me the torch. And it was like, and when he did that, it was like, it was, it, I, the, I saw the whole thing. It was what God was saying. See, 2,000 years ago, the Jewish people laid down their torch. They had the torch. That first century, the disciples, they, they spread it to the nations. But then after that, it was laid down. Israel hadn't, is, hasn't had its torch. Hasn't had its light. But now it's in the, the light is in the world, is in the nations. But now, here I, I go to India to the, we didn't plan it. They, I don't, the guy who, who planned it didn't even think about this. But they ended up bringing me to the mountain where the torch by, symbolically was laid down. And then he, a Gentile believer, minister from the nation, takes the torch and hands it back. It's like as the Jewish people gave the light to the world, the world has to give the light back as well. The age can only end that way. And somebody Somebody, you know, I think the BBC was on top of the mountain. They filmed me speaking. I don't know how this happened. They end up giving the tape to ABC World News. And what happened is, a little while later, they did a story on Peter Jennings, ABC World News Tonight. Top story was the Pope went to India. And to show, they wanted a, a picture of a of ministry of, of Christians in India. They ended up choosing me on the mountain with a talit. I mean, how do they picture, that? how do they end up choosing that? But that's where that that happened there, and but I, I made it, it, it just, it just was so, so it was like only God could put that together on that mountain. And then after that, we preached to the multitudes there, and I was able to give a chance, I, I had a chance to share, I was able to give a, a altar of a salvation message, and I did it about the Hebrew marriage and the bride and the groom and salvation. And we saw about 70,000 Indians dedicate their lives to the Lord. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. 
You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.